Hello everyone on the Central Duck 2 and welcome to another mod overview, this time on Fluid Physics. A fabric mod that simply adds in a bunch of changes to the fluid mechanics. So it pretty much blends the vanilla one and makes things a bit more realistic. Um, so fluids flowing horizontally will not be affected by the mod, but fluids flowing down will. Um, otherwise there's no infinite water sources, pumps. Uh, pumping of fluids is done by pistons, um, source blocks can flow down, spring blocks generate under naturally generated springs, and uh, rain refills lakes and oceans um, to obviously have water appear back, um, if not infinitely by other means, but uh, pretty much creating infinite whenever there's a chance of rain. Um, so yeah, just sort of play around with water for a bit. Um, so for example, if I just had a 2x2, two two, and then I got a bucket, it would just do that, as far as I can tell. It's not going to fill itself back in. Similar to obviously lava, and obviously if I do that, it's just not going to fill it back up, it's not going to be infinite. Uh, otherwise, we've got pistons of course, just pushing the water. So I've just tried a few things with pushing them. So haven't really got much going on yet though. But we're just sort of experimenting. We've got some rain, just not at the time I was expecting, but anyway, so we'll hopefully fill that up. So it'll fill up oceans and rivers only, I think which is possible. So if we, for example, did, I don't know, say some lava or something here, and let that form, and then say, remove a fair amount of the water, and uh, we can do that. So I can't just roll it over that. I can't roll it and place it come on. Um, so let's see, if I can just place a bit more, we'll see, because we want it to reach a bit further. So I can just place a bunch of blocks, which is also less likely. But, uh, you know, we'll just do it on, say, the surface or something. You know, we'll just ruin it at the top here. And we'll see what happens with the rain, of course. Hopefully, not any uh, changes at all. But this obviously is technically a river. So, we'll see. We'll set the time of day. This makes it easy to see. Okay, we've got thunder. So, maybe it's possible. Maybe not. So, what's the thing? Because I assume that thunder and rain can work, not just rain on its own. Um, yeah, I think that kind of changed a bit. Slightly. So I'll just wait a bit. So I don't think I can change like the game rule or anything. Either. So I think it's still I think it's still thunder? I'm pretty sure. Not sure. So yeah, so we'll just go weather rain only and see what happens. And, uh, we may change the tick speed just in case, just to see if it's possible for it to sort of update it faster and go if we're going to fill in all the rest of the um, thing here with solid water and then source blocks. And I don't know if it could be like it just fills in the area, maybe where it's supposed to be said by them. Like say if there was less here. Okay, so it's already filled in that, surprisingly enough, I think, in the sense of getting in that where it was before, I kind of am. Um, so I guess it sort of does every so often, and I don't think the tick speed really changed anything, which is not surprising. Um, unless it takes a bit more, I'm not sure if we can do that, I think. Uh, otherwise, what else was there? Flowing downwards, I guess? So if we just have a sort of thing here on this tree, for example. And we'll just go here. And we'll just do that. And then we'll just sort of go across. We'll just see what happens. Oh, I 
actually don't know how well it would work in shells like this. Never tested, so we'll find out. Alrighty, so we'll just do this. We'll just blow down like that. And how to do things otherwise. So it's still a bit of the same in a way. Uh, pushes. No, okay, so it ends after a certain point. So it does, I guess, maybe have a limit, and it's like, okay, from this height or from however far, it's like, nope, we can't do that anymore. Okay, so we do this then, for example. No, okay, so every single time, once it's at its eventual point, then yeah. Okay, so maybe we do need a bit of a height, I guess. So we'll go, I don't know, we'll go, say, I don't know, here ish. Maybe? We'll see if anything changes now, because if it's like it's 8 block limit, um, then my guess is it's not really going to do much. Um, unless it's just at the end of anything in particular. I'm not sure. Maybe so it's just at the end of it in general, that it'll do it, regardless of height. Okay. This is like a 2 block thing, I would assume. I don't know. Again, my guess is that uh, it would just push it anyways. And that's just gonna sort of sit there until you remove it, I guess. Yeah. For the most part. Something like that. And then the source amount of blocks, of course. Water. And that's just sort of sitting there as well. It hasn't disappeared. Whatever. Just very random like that. So yeah. Uh otherwise though, that's pretty much it for everything I can think of. Um, that's now actually filled in everything surprisingly, so that's good. Um, let's see, there is springs, but I haven't actually found any naturally, because obviously I've only just installed them like I've done those. So that's what the spring block looks like. I don't think there's like a biome I could check specifically, it's sort of just locations in general. Uh, nope. I'd have to go to like a specific area, I assume, like far away and find a spring block. But uh, obviously, um, from what's listed, uh, generates under naturally generated springs. No events. So, if we just have like a bunch of these, for example. Um, let's see, we can put that in the middle, obviously. Um, let's see, if I get in the tube system here, the little channel system here, if I put you here, what will happen? Will you prevent from going down? Not exactly, but I assume if we had certain other, maybe we can use them in this case, I don't know. Um, but otherwise they'd be naturally in the world and doing said other possible things. Uh, but otherwise that is a, the only other thing in the mod, it's like a block or so. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's probably it. Uh, we do have some configs to look at though, um, which allows you to pretty much set the whitelist of what fluids are accepted for them having certain um, effects of uh, the physics and such changes. Uh, you've got the ability to set the fine source max iterations so I mean that's like the iteration of each maximum source block or certain other things maybe to do with springs I'm not sure uh, you've got flow over sources so you can either have it true or false for that um, you've got the debug fluid state so if you want to change that to a debug state of the fluid you can I guess and we'll debug what that means. Um, you've got the spring, and then you've got obviously the block that would be the spring, I think. So I'm assuming you can set a specific block if you don't want it to be the spring block. Like you can maybe set it as stone compared to just the one from the mod. I assume that's the purpose. They're updating blocks in the world, so I'm assuming that's water sources or the spring block itself updating most likely. You've got allowing of infinite water, which is possible, which I assume is obviously to do with the rain setting. Um, possibly. 
Then you've got rain rave fill, so you can set the probability that the rain will actually change it to a source block. So it is actually fairly low, that's why it took a while. Um, and then you've got obviously the fluid white list that will affect. So maybe you can have it so that rain refills lava, or you can maybe sort of change things in a way to fit your own theme of like acid or lava rain or something, and then it's doing it for lava or retexturing water, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you probably could set multiples to have also additional refill benefits. Thanks so much for watching though, and goodbye.